you need to try these SDXL models. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I want to show you several SDXL models that are amazing and you might not know about them, but also I want to show you a way how to use SDXL, even if you have an old dinky computer. Let's get started. So first, let's talk about how to use SDXL with a dinky old computer without wasting hours waiting for an image to render. Now, as you know, Google does no longer want you to use it for AI applications. So here is an alternative that I'm not endorsed by. This is not a paid advertisement. The service is called Run Diffusion. You get an exclusive GPU just for you for the time that you're using it. It has a lot of pre-installed UIs like Automatic 11.11, Conf UI, Invoke AI, even Uga Booga or Koya where you can train your own models or LoRa's. You can play around with a lot of AIs. But one thing I have to warn you about is you can see here, this is starting at 50 cent per hour, which is very affordable, but the time is running all the time when you have the tab open and you're using the GPU because it's exclusive to you. So when you go off to talk with people on Discord or search for images on Google or other stuff, close down the service because otherwise you're paying for the idle time. That's not great. That being said, let's go on to the SDXL models. All of them have some specialties. So I would suggest that you just download them and experiment with all of them. Also at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about upscaling methods and where to find good upscalers. So the first one here is Reality Check XL. And when we look at the images, you can see that they are pretty amazing with the dog wearing the glasses. As always here on the right side, check out the prompt, the negative prompt, the settings, the sampler and so on that you get really good results from that. And then of course you want to experiment with the different settings, what this is good for. You can see here the face is pretty cool. The nose is a little bit big, but it certainly has a specific face I've never seen before in AI. So that can already be a reason to use that model for your purposes. And this is another thing I've never seen before. I like the dynamic between the little girls sitting on the mushroom. And that's certainly something that is very popular in photography, especially with small kids, because it has this kind of fairy cuteness. So for family photos and studio photography, that is a very popular theme. And as you can see, this model can also do a lot of other stuff. This is a little bit more in the Pixar style. And one thing I saw a lot with SDXL is this kind of smudges and other kind of dirt in the face. This model does it a little bit. Of course, you can fix that with in painting or even in the graphics software afterwards. So there shouldn't be any problem with that. Now, the next model to look at is Chip Mix Reality XL. And this is also a very nice model. It can also do not safe for work images. This is why we will we'll see a lot of blurred out stuff here. But when we look at the upscaled images, you can see that the quality is very nice, really nice quality here on the hard surfaces, on the details, on the cohesion of the image where all of these details fit together. And even the reflection down here in the water very beautiful. Here we have a dragon and look at these wings. Just amazing. I feel like the face of the dragon looks a lot like from the movie How to Train a Dragon. So all of that is very cute. I love how detailed everything is and how artful the expression of the image is. Next from the same model we have here some mice fighting a sword fight. I love the details on that the dynamic that you can render two characters in one image. They interact with each other. Everything here looks pretty good. The mice have human hands, but of course, with the fantasy character, why not? The feet are also very mouse like. So that's really, really beautiful here. And as you can see, this has now also a different kind of style, more digital painting or concept art. And here is another image of a beautiful dragon. Now, this is a special thing because SDXL kind of has a problem rendering dragons in a nice way. But this dragon is just fantastic. Fantastic. I really love it. It reminds me of the good old days of World of Warcraft with the Lich King. Remember that trailer with the blue dragon coming down the mountain, waking up all of these skeletons. Ah, oh, the good old times. Let's head over to the next model called Colossus Project XL. Again, you can see here safe for work, not safe for work. It can do both. And for the quality, it's just really beautiful. I love the colors in this one. Also, how the colors are very expressive, artful, cinematic. So that is pretty cool because SDXL is a little bit stuffy. It's a little bit not so expressive, but this looks really good. I want to see that movie. 
Again, the hard surface is very nice. The face expression is beautiful here and also the soft bokeh in the background. Next, from the same model, we have here a beautiful painted style. Look at all these nice details, how the fisher is standing on his boat, the sunset in the background, the beautiful clouds out there. This is the kind of image you want to print out and put on your wall because it just makes you happy to look that again. Also, look at the reflection down here in the water. Very nice, has a lot of the details in here. And of course, as you know, I absolutely love cats and what's cuter than a kitten warrior in full armor standing there proud and tall. How amazing is that? These kind of little hairs here on the ears, also very beautiful. This is just the cuteness overload and I love how everything comes together and looks very nice, even though we have very different materials here with the hard surface of the metal and the soft surface of the fur. Everything works great. And then also this character here, which I really want to see in one of the next Star Wars movies. It's just a really cool character. A little bit of a mix between Star Wars and the Turtles, but I enjoy all of the different details and how very nice everything fits together. Here we have another model called Gleipnir, which is a strange name. It's coming from the Norse mythology of a chain for all things. I don't know why, but the results are pretty amazing. Here we have a very nice cat, really beautiful fur. Now what you can see here also is that the fur is pretty fluffy and nice and soft and doesn't bulk together. So that's also very good. It has these little brushes here on the ear tips. I think that's kind of like a Maine Coon kind of thing. I love the Maine Coon cats. And of course, the very nice soft wooly clothing that he's wearing is really, really nice. And the soft bokeh balls in the background also very beautiful. And again, this model can also do different styles. So here we have a very nice design in a concept art style, very nice and detailed, very expressive, good mix of the colors, this kind of teal blue that's a little bit greenish and then mixed with the brown fitting very well together. So again, this is where SDXL is becoming a lot more artful, expressive and has this warmth in it that we like to see. And here is an image that is more on the creepy side of things, but again, at the same time, really beautiful. A mouse in a leather jacket with human mouse hands. Oh my God, that's super creepy. I kind of want to see this version of Ratatouille, but at the same time, oh my God, this is kind of the horror version of that movie, but I can't look away. It's just so creepy and beautiful. And last but not least, I have for you the Chugganaut XL model. You probably know about that one because this is one of the most famous SDXL models. Now, coincidentally, this is also done in cooperation with Run Diffusion because they're offered their GPUs to be able to train that model. But the results are pretty amazing. So when you look at these beautiful, very detailed images here, Again, in different kind of styles. Here we have this kind of digital painting style. Again, beautiful colors, very nice composition. I love how all of the details work very well together and make sense. But then also we have here something in a style of product photography, which looks really good. And again, the colors are very nice. The materials look really good. Maybe the bubbles here could be a little bit rounder, but SDXL overall has just a problem with round shapes. And here we have a very nice, super detailed portrait, beautiful details on the skin, very nice hair in the beard and also on the head. And then in contrast to that, the nice hard surfaces we have down here for this kind of armor that he's wearing. I like the materials. I like the reflection on that. Okay, enough about the SDXL models. Let's talk about upscaling. Where do you get upscalers? And what is a nice little trick to get even better quality? So I want to highly suggest to you the page Open Model DB. This is a database where you can download all of the different upscalers for free. There is tons of different upscalers out there. And I want to highly, highly suggest to you to experiment with different 
different upscalers. There's not one best upscaler. You have to figure out which one fits your purpose best. Now up here on the top, you can see you have different categories where you can click on that. For example, let's click on photo here. And now we have all these different models. And you can see, for example, here is one that's specific for plants. When we scroll down a little bit, you can see that there is specific upscalers for skin details for the face. Very good. So try that out and have ready different upscalers for different kinds of images that you want to create. Now here's a trick for getting even better quality out of your images. And that is that you use an SDXL image in its original resolution, of course, and then you do a 2x upscale with the model that works best for you. And then you do another 2x upscale with either the same model or a different model. And in between, you might want to change the prompt a little bit, for example, adding words like highly detailed, full sharp, intricate, things like that, so that the AI knows what you want to have when it is upscaling that, of course, using a low denoise in both cases. You're not changing too much about the image when you're upscaling that. And because you do a double upscale, you could have very high resolution, but also a very nice quality because it is adding the details two times to that image, so that can be very nice. Of course, that will take some time. Even with a fast graphics card, this is probably taking several minutes for an individual image to upscale it several times. And like I said, if your computer is slow, check out one of these online cloud services. It might be worth the money so you can save on time or even render that at all. Suggest your favorite SDXL model in the comments and also what kind of upscaler you use with that. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.